Good morning or afternoon. We're looking at number 112, Folk Festival. I'm glad that this one has a name that sounds like it has some sort of history, but it really doesn't. This is a song that was written for the book to make sure that our clarinet players know how to play their low notes and get exposed to them. So clarinet players, this song is going to be all about you and playing with a nice big thick sound, all the while keeping a flat chin and keeping a firm embouchure. So we're starting out on the clarinet part on a low F. So low F is going to be all fingers down except for your left pinky. And then your right pinky is going to go straight down on that bottom key that's in line with all the holes. And then from there, you're going from low F to G, which is just all fingers but no pinkies. And then you're going to go back down again right here to that low F. Now, when you get over here, um, you're actually going to go down even farther, clarinet players, to a low E. So that's going to involve both pinkies, two pinkies there. Now, if we jump over and look at somebody else's part, like let's say, for instance, the trumpet part, their part is the same rhythm and technically the same pitches, but it looks a lot more playable for them. So going through this for pretty much everybody, it starts mezzo piano, and then you're going to play up and down the scale. And then right here, you've got a staccato and then an accent. And this is also syncopated. So that's going to be one and one. And here again, one and one. And of course, making sure to navigate these dynamics, mezzo piano to forte to piano to forte. And then last but not least, hopefully this was the first thing you looked at, key signature and time signature. We're working out of the key of concert E flat, and we have two four time. Now, last but not least, we're actually going to look at the percussion part. Mallets, yours should look pretty similar to the trumpet part, but the snare drum part, I see that right here we have nine stroke rolls. So remember nine stroke rolls, you're going to actually move your sticks five times. So you're moving your sticks right here in 16th note. So da, 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 da. And that's the fifth note right there. So buzz, 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 tap. It's basically the same thing that you played from here to here. So da, 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 buzz, 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 tap. And that's really it. So this one is a good opportunity for you to practice your nine stroke rolls. I don't know why there are no dynamics written in here. It might be a typo, but just the same, play those nine stroke rolls.